हाय दोस्तों नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल मिशन आई ए स्पीशियस इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द यूपीएससी जीएस पेपर वन दैट वॉज आज इन द रिसेंट एग्जाम दैट इज गोइंग ऑन फॉर द यूपीएससी मीन्स एंड डेफिनेटली फ्रॉम दिस पेपर स्पेसिफिकली जीएस पेपर वन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट सोर्सेस फ्रॉम वेयर यूपीएससी मे हैड ask the question or frame the question or indirectly i may suggest you the sources so that you can integrate with your preparation and that preparation will help you in focusing on the subjects and the topics that will be more important for the examination point of view so if we distribute the number of questions for the gs paper 1 that means you have total 20 questions and total 250 marks and for the gs paper 1 we have the four important subjects that is included which are the four important subjects first of all the history section the second geography section the third indian society and the fourth world history and if we properly understand this paper this year that means upsc had focused more on geography and also on the dynamic part not from the static part from the static only one question came and all other questions of geography were mostly dynamic but for that to answer you should have the concept of a static understanding that is also an important point so without delaying we will understand about the sources but you should have proper idea about the number of question asked so i had made a bar graph and you can see that number 8 represents the total number of geography questions which was asked and it is totally equals to 100 marks and also for the indian history we have the three questions and total 30 marks and when we talk about the indian society we have total six questions which equals to 75 marks and when we talk about the indian society and history we have the three questions that equals to 45 marks meaning 15 marks each so upsc has a pattern that it asks either 10 mark question or 15 mark question or 12.5 mark question but generally we have the 10 marker and 15 marker question so you should also know about this now without delaying we will understand that the importance of geography is also very very important along with the indian society and you can understand from the chart that i had made so that means you have to prepare you have to align the direction of your preparation by focusing on interlinking of the subjects whether it is indian society for example in this paper upsc linked the history and the indian society as well also upsc has linked the geography and the dynamic changes which are happening in the global world so that means you have to interlink upsc intensely focuses on the interlinking of the subject that you should keep in mind while preparation while preparing for this exam okay and i will tell you the proof i will tell you certain evidences that if you had followed the article discussion or the editorial reading definitely you may had answer the question as well because from the analysis of my research and understanding definitely i can assure that to you okay so without delaying let us start so we have already talked about you the eight questions and total 100 marks we are focusing here on geography in fact for the indian society we will make video on some another day but here we are totally focusing on geography and geography is contributing 100 marks this year that means a very much weightage make or break like situation here okay so what are the questions you can understand the question but i am not will be reading the question but i will tell you about the keywords and the sources from where the questions was asked so the questions in geography was comprised of two parts one is your static and another was your dynamic dynamic means if you have the basic idea of the static then 
the UPSC has linked with the dynamic part so that you can combine and write the answer in both situation okay so first of all when we talk about a static part you can understand that from GC Leon there is a concept of fazors now what is fazors it is basically the glacier landform feature and if you had read GC Leon in a better and deeper way then definitely you may answer the question but only certain limited content is provided in GC Leon but what you can do you can elaborate the concept by linking with the dynamicity of the subject because if you start reading like optional definitely it will be very much lost to you as compared to the post benefit and now we are seeing that UPSC is asking the optional questions to the GS paper and this is the evidence as well because this glacier land forms is typical to the geography optional experience and the geography optional paper but now UPSC is integrating it into the GS so you can understand and you should read GC Leung first of all and also you should have the command over NCRT because NCRT after reading definitely you can answer some of the questions which has been given into the slide okay for example when we talk about the southwest monsoon why it is called Purbaya so it is basically the Purbaya or the easterly we call why we call a wind easterly or westerly because its origin lies from the direction from where they are originating and the wind gets named for example when we talk about southwest monsoon means that wind is originating coming from the southwest that is the point and also when we talk about purbaya means that wind is originating from the east why east because in the bhojpur region bhojpur region is where basically it is in bihar and in bihar the monsoon rain comes from where comes from the Beo Bengal branch and Beo Bengal branch what is the direction of the wind it is like it is coming from the eastern direction that's why it is called easterly so that you have to understand the logic behind that why I am telling you because I have command over the geography because I had the geography it's an optional subject so I am able to explain you in a better way and also there are other questions you can read by taking time by pausing the video but what I will tell you about the sources that if you had followed the sources definitely you will be able to answer the questions okay and uh, kindly remember one more important point that the UPSC asks the questions based on the frequency of topics which was highlighted in the previous year meaning you have to analyze the previous year questions as well the topics because the topics gets repeated maybe the types of question gets changed but the topics gets repeated for example liberalization lpg reforms for example green revolution so you should understand the significance of pyq that's why i also try to provide you the py questions on the daily basis on our telegram platform and if you hadn't joined our telegram channel please do join and like share subscribe our video if you are liking our initiative so friends that is the also point so after understanding and the second part is your dynamic questions dynamic questions means like uh, which is in dynamic nature like indian society mostly dynamic and the question also gets a uh, basically dynamic nature for example why women's society is very much increasing so this is dynamic part okay so you have to understand the dynamic concept and also you can understand the consequences of climate change on the food security in the tropical country kindly understand it is talking about the tropical countries like india south asia these all are tropical countries and we have to tell about the consequences of climate change what will be the consequences you can understand that uh, when there is a climate change the crops which has the traditional nature of surviving the current climate will not be able to survive so that is the point and there are many more points but my aim is not to here discuss but my aim is to tell you about the sources from where you can prepare about the exam okay now we are coming to the source so first question was asked about the puzzle which is a glacier feature and you can see if you open your gc leon and if you come to the page number 51 i think so and here it is a concept of puzzle but there is a limited concept and you can expand it okay and for 
reading these small small terms you should not refer to the optional books kindly remember you can answer and you can elaborate the concept so reading deeply and reading between the lines it is very important and now upsc is also focusing on the glacial land landforms earlier the focus was not on it that is also a trending topic for the upsc and that's why the geo physical phenomena which is getting changed it is also becoming important for the upsc examination now the second question which was related to food security and climate change here we have given you the snapshots of various hindu editorial and the articles that deals with this topic so within one and a half year if you had read the hindu newspaper or the indian express then definitely you may be able to answer the questions you can see here and you can see here as well so you should understand all these concepts and the thing now if we talk about the next question it is related to the global water crisis what world is facing use fresh water crisis and there is a basic logic because we have the limited fresh water resources in the form of glaciers ice caps or the ground water or the surface water so world is facing that crisis and because of the increasing population the crisis is increasing choose so there was an article which was published in the indian express about the global water crisis and if you followed the editorial reading then definitely you can answer so from here we should understand that certain topics is very very important and and if the article about that comes then you should read that for example water resources water crisis women issues these are the important topic burning topic upsc frequently asks so definitely you need to focus in a study like that and also you have to read the ncrt of geography for example water resources topic has been given into the class 7 book class 10th and class 11 so you should have a command over ncrt first of all then you should have a command over gc doing then you should have a command over the editorial and the articles i am not talking about that you should make notes on the daily basis just read and complement with the current affairs and if you are liking some important points if you are thinking that there is some innovative solution that some innovative keywords some innovative answers then definitely you should make the note to remember the content because such a huge subject and remembering the content is a difficult and tedious task so you have to make notes in the keyword form not like description descriptive mode okay so after understanding the sources all other questions that we have mentioned the total eight questions they are more or less can be answered by understanding the static topic and by understanding the dynamic concept and dynamic concept means what when your knowledge gets expands into different dimensions and what upsc wants is that your concept should be expanded in different dimensions okay and when we talk about certain concluding points then first of all exam oriented news editorial discussion and the reading is very very important meaning you have to focus on reading articles in fact many toppers suggest reading editorial okay as well as many teachers when you will attend coaching or the youtube classes then definitely they also talks about the editorial okay that is the point and indian society we hadn't talked about it but they the questions which has been asked mainly may be answered by understanding the editorial that is also the point and geography is now becoming more dynamic and interlinking that is also an important point and why why because i have told you from the question and also there is a one important uh, uh, topic in the syllabus of gs paper one that is important geographical phenomena and changes which is happening because of the climate change and this is very much big topic and if any article or the editorial comes about this topic you should have a command over it and ncrt is necessary interlinkages is also very very important so these all are the points that need to be concluded and that need to be focused upon to strengthen your preparation so that any questions which are asked may be answered directly or indirectly because maybe out of 20 questions you may not answer all the question directly but indirectly if you had read articles newspapers so you can accumulate the points into your mind and you can uh, devolve develop an answer for that question that is also an important point and so friends that is the topic which i had concluded hope you understood and if you are liking our initiative please do like subscribe and share our channel 
थैंक यू फ्रेंड थैंक यू वेरी मच वी विल मीट अगेन विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच